Good morning to all. Now in this class I will explain pulse modulation. One of the technique is PAM. Pulse amplitude modulation. The amplitude of the pulse is varied in accordance with the amplitude of the message signal. Like with the amplitude of the pulse changes with respect to the amplitude of the message signal. It is called pulse amplitude modulation. Since this is the simple type of pulse modulation. Okay. Next, the generation of pulse amplitude modulation. Generation of pulse amplitude modulation. Generation of pulse amplitude modulation. What is the definition of pulse amplitude modulation? The amplitude of the pulse changes with respect to a amplitude of the message signal and width and position are kept constant. Okay, that is the condition for the pulse amplitude modulation. Generation of pulse and I am on PAM signal ne generate chahiye rente man KM blocks ka wale. In this we can use low pass filter, multiplier and pulse generator, pulse strain generator and pulse sampling network. The NPF. That means low pass filter. The low pass filter. That is the LPF. Low pass filter. Low pass filter removes all the frequency components which are higher than the frequency FM. Now this is known as a band limiting. In low pass filter, say on just now, which are removes all the frequency components which are higher than FM. FM frequency का ना ये कौन सा signal सुनना चाहिए पड़ा इधर रिमूव चेस्ट लो पास फैक्टर ओके नेक्स्ट तीन की मल्टीप्लेक्सर जिसका मल्टीप्लेयर ओके मल्टीप्लेयर जिसका पल्स ट्रेन जनरेटर तो जिसे क्या है यार This is the pulse shaping network. And we can EM signal. Okay, this is also called as a band limiting. Band limiting is necessary to avoid the aliasing effect in the sampling process. This is your message signal or modulated signal M of T. This is your message signal. This is the pulse strain signal. The changes in the LPS can be or removes the uh, high frequency components which are greater than FM. Okay now, multiply this number to the digital output. Okay. The pulse strain generator generates the pulse strain at frequency fs such that fs greater than or equal to 2 fm. This is the Nyquist criteria satisfies. So LPF means or band limiting removes the high frequency components and pulse strain generator is the carrier signal generator. And man multiplier gets kuni. Man in just now kada digital work and just now signal ne. This is the man pulse shape ne kada kuch just ne man thousand pm signal ne. जनरेट जस्ट नो, दिस इज़ द जनरेशन ऑफ़ पल्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन एंड डी मॉड्यूलेशन ऑफ़ पल्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन डी मॉड्यूलेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ़ पल्स इन दिस वी कैन यूज़ लो पास फैक्टर डी मॉड्यूलेशन प्रोसेस इंटर मान मान वर्जन सिग्नल ने Recapture, uh, recapture from JLM to the demodulation process. With this, we can use low pass filter. This is the input of PAW signal. 
and we can get the amortior massive signal. If this low pass filter only allows the frequency up to fs, so we can get the massive signal amorting. Okay, this is a chonama. This is our massive signal. This is our carrier signal. This is the massive signal M of T. This is the carrier signal C of T. This is the PWM signal, PAM signal, or amplitude signal. And the command is for charging out only. Charging. This is a PAM signal. We can use low pass filter. We can get this is a what is the low pass filter design? Resistor capacitor panel. This is the P AM signal. The resistor is the capacitor. We can get the amortizer. So. This is charging, discharging, charging, discharging, charging, the capacitor charging and discharging. This is the charging. This is the discharging condition. So we can get the your virtual signal. And the PM signal mirror, okay, low pass for future and the mirror, we can get the your version signal pulse amplitude modulation what is the advantages of pulse amplitude modulation the, uh, what is the advantages of pulse amplitude modulation means it is easy to design first of all it is easy to uh, design that is the modulation process is very easy and the modulation process also very easy what is the disadvantage of the signal to noise ratio is very high, very poor. Signal to noise ratio is very poor and uh, it does not use for long distance communication. This is the disadvantage of pulse amplitude modulation. So what is the disadvantage? Signal to noise ratio is very poor and long distance, long distance communication ke use over. It cannot be used in long distance communication. This is the disadvantage of pulse amplitude modulation. Okay, thank you.